Hi, here's some info about Falco's up air. The direction that Falco's up air sends the opponent is up and away, but more specifically, it sends at a 70 degree angle. This is an important number to understand because of the way DI works. When you DI a move, you can influence the knockback's trajectory up to about 16 degrees in either direction. For up air, if you hold straight out, you'll influence the angle about 16 degrees downward, which is basically straight out. And more importantly, if you hold straight in, you'll influence the angle about 16 degrees upward, which is basically the same as straight up. The main takeaway is that no matter what DI your opponent holds, the angle of Falco's up air prevents them from going behind you. When you compare this to something like Fox's up air, which has an 85 degree knockback angle, you can see how Falco has a lot more control of where his opponent can go. To apply your understanding of the knockback angle, you can think about a common situation that happens when Falco is comboing a fast faller in the corner at mid to high percents. After Falco gets him in this position, he almost always uses down air to spike him off the stage. In order for Fox to survive the down air, he has to do an SDI input toward the stage so that when the down air hits him, he'll barely hit the edge of the stage and live. Because we know that whenever Fox is in this position, he has a high chance of attempting to SDI towards the stage because of the down air, we can confidently use up air and expect them to DI in on it. That being said, even if they do hold away from the up air, you still get an edge guard opportunity. And if you're really confident they're going to hold away to avoid the up air, then you can also just go straight to the down air since you're making the read that they won't attempt the SDI. It is really important to avoid the first hit of Falco's up air. Similar to Fox, it is possible for your opponent to SDI the first hit of up air in a way that prevents the second hit from connecting. But another thing you have to consider is that the first hit of up air may accidentally push your opponent towards the direction they are DIing. In this example, you can see how the first hit landed on the right side, but the second hit landed on the left side because of his ASDI. Now, instead of being sent straight up, he gets to center and you can't follow up on the combo. If you're in a position where you're forced to do the first hit of up air, then your best bet is to do a full drift dash jump towards the side you want to hit on and hit as late as you can. Luckily, Falco's second hit of up air is really disjointed from the first hit, so as long as you're very actively trying to do the second hit only and spend some time practicing, you should be able to consistently land it. Also good to note that the direction Falco is facing doesn't matter. The game only cares about which side the up air hits on. After you actually land the up air that leads to a down air, make sure you wait as long as you can before doing the down air. If you do it too soon, the knockback stacking may accidentally let them live in spots where they were for sure gonna die. The simple way to explain it is that your opponent maintains the momentum from the up air even after you connect with down air. So you want to let as much of the momentum dissipate from the up air so that you can get the maximum strength down air. If you want a more detailed look at knockback stacking, then you can check out this video by BND Games. Anyways, that's it for part one. I was going to include a bit more, but I have severely underestimated how dense this could be, and I wanted to keep it short. If the reception's good on this video, I'll make a part two with some more advanced things like using up air on floaties and techniques to increase accuracy and flexibility. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of what you want to see for the next part of the up air tutorial. Um, yeah, bye bye.